Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. So, apologies for not making a new video recently. I swear I'm not making this up, but there was a power outage. So, uh, there was a storm and knocked over a power line. Yeah, it was a whole mess. And I had no power for the majority of the day, so I couldn't film. I know the camera's battery powered, but these days the sun set at like 4 o'clock. So, without artificial lighting, then the video will just look terrible. So, I didn't want to subject you guys through that. So, yeah, I didn't film for a long time, but... Uh, Anyways, I'm back here now again, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from viewers recently about what is the best savings account to have here in Canada. Uh, because I realize that most of my viewers are fellow Canadians, and most of the content here on YouTube is directed towards American audiences and made by American YouTubers. And obviously here in Canada, we don't get access to great choices like Ally Bank or Redneck Bank. And no, I'm not kidding. There's actually a real bank in America called Redneck Bank. So go Go look it up if you don't believe me. Uh, anyways, today we're going to talk about some options that are available to us up here in the Great White North. And I know some people are going to go down in the comments and be like, My credit union gives me double the interest rate compared to everything you suggested on your list. I can't believe you missed my credit union. Dislike unsubbed. And to that I have to say, you know what, I consider several factors when assembling this list. Obviously the interest rate is important because it's a savings account, right? Uh, but uh, you know, I've considered other factors like ease of access to your funds and availability. So I know there are a lot of random credit unions out there that offer higher interest rates, uh, but those might be local to a certain area and they might not have the most complete set of features. And plus, credit unions are usually covered by different insurance policies under each province rather than CDIC insurance. Uh, so that's not a really big deal usually. I mean, the insurance is probably fine, but uh, you do have to try to like look in the fine print if it's something different than what you're familiar to, right? So I'm just pointing that out, right? And by the way, for those of you who don't know what CDIC insurance is, it's basically an insurance policy that will cover you up to $100,000 in case that the bank you deposited your funds into goes bankrupt. Uh, and this is very important, especially if you go with a smaller institution because uh, the risk of bankruptcy is higher. And I'm not sure if you guys recall, but a while ago, Robinhood, the popular trading app in the United States, they got themselves in a bit of hot water when they tried to introduce a hybrid savings and checkings account. And it turns out they weren't covered by any insurance at all. Uh, so what that means is that if you deposit money into that account, yes, the interest rate is high, but then if Robinhood goes bankrupt, well, then you lose all your money, right? So yeah, that's a big no-no. And all the savings account that I'm going to talk about on the list today are CDIC insured. So I think that uh, they all have terrific ease of access as well, and they should be available to all Canadians in all provinces as long as you meet the standard requirements for any bank account. Uh, so lastly, before I begin, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored uh, in any way. I'm not being paid by anyone to promote anything. Uh, so rest assured that I will be trying to give my most unbiased opinion possible. Anyways, without further ado, here are my five picks for the best savings account here in Canada in late 2020. Let's jump in. Okay, starting with number five, we have the Simply Financial Savings Account. Uh, now, Simply, for those of you who don't know, it's a discount branch of banking services offered by CIBC. And maybe I shouldn't call them a discount branch because uh, that makes it sound like it's lower quality, but it's more like an online-only version of the bare basics you need out of a bank account. Uh, so honestly, guys, it has everything you need besides physical locations. And I do have a Simply account myself, and I've never felt the need to go into the branch or anything like that. Uh, now, right now with Simply, they are running a promotion where you can get a 2.0% interest rate on their savings account. However, that does go back down to 0.15% once the promo is over. However, the bright side is that you do get a debit card that allows you easy access to your funds at all CIBC ATMs, which is nice. Uh, and also they have other products such as a checking account and a Visa card. And all of Simply's accounts are devoid of any monthly fees or annual fees or anything like that. So uh, there's no minimum deposit or administration fees. So overall, you're getting a quite feature complete set of services and solutions. And overall, I can't complain. Uh, and furthermore, Simply has other features available right on their online banking website. Uh, and this includes sending money overseas or ordering foreign cash. Although their exchange rates are not the greatest, to be honest, so I wouldn't recommend you order a ton of foreign cash uh, using that service. But uh, if you ever wonder what Swiss francs look like, well, I guess it's an easy way for you to get your hands on some, right? Uh, so anyways, that's simply. 
Now moving on to number four. Now this one is actually really similar to the Simply Financial account and this is a Tangerine high interest savings account. Uh, now you guys know I'm a big fan of Tangerine and I've been using them for a long time and they did give a pretty generous sign up bonus when I opened my account uh, which I think it was like around $50. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot but this was like five or six years ago, okay? So we're talking about $2014. Uh, and all you had to do was deposit a hundred dollars and leave it there for like 30 days or something to get the $50 bonus uh, So in terms of rate of return, that's like a 50% profit in 30 days And if you refer someone else to sign up, well, then you'd both get $50 Nowadays the sign up bonuses at banks are so complicated You know, you have to open up an account deposit a certain amount of money and then you have to set up a direct deposit, pre-authorized withdrawal, and then you have to go to Mordor and come back. It's too much, right? I miss the good old days. Uh, so back on the topic though, there is a promotion right now for Tangerine uh, where the interest rate will temporarily be 2.15% for a limited time. And then after that, it goes back down to 0.1%. Uh, so the promo rate is actually slightly better than Simply. And in terms of other features, well, it's also as complete as you can get, right? So uh, Tangerine is owned by Scotiabank, so it's kind Kind of like Scotiabank's version of the online only bank account. Uh, so you get access to your funds at any Scotiabank ATM. And similar to Simply, all of Tangerine's accounts do not have any maintenance fees or minimum account deposits or uh, any administration fees or anything like that. So it's completely free for you to just keep open. And fun fact, I just got the Tangerine debit card. So this is what it looks like. It's uh, as you can see, it's like vertical is really cool. I'm going to be careful not to show you my uh, debit card number, which is on the back. But uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, yeah, I have the choice between choosing an orange one or a silver one. And you know, I know I have to get the orange one, right? Because come on, guys, it's not really tangerine if it's not orange. Uh, so anyways, that's tangerine. Now let's move on to bank account number three, and this is the Modus Bank Savings Account. Uh, now this is one that I've only recently heard of, and they're actually an online-only banking service as well. And starting from this point onwards, that's where we see some real juicy interest rates, and not just like promotional interest rates, but I'm talking about standard interest rates that's here all year round. And as you can see, Modus Bank pays a 1% flat interest all year round as standard. Okay, it's actually not that juicy, but considering we're living at a time where interest rates are really hit rock bottom, 1% uh, standard interest rate is actually considered pretty high, uh, considering all the other big banks are offering like 0.02% or whatever it is, it's basically nothing, right? So uh, Modus Bank is offering 1% as standard. And in terms of features, once again, Modus Banks has no fees or account minimums, and also they offer a cool looking debit card, which uh, they claim you can use at 3,600 different locations across Canada uh, on the exchange network of ATMs. Now, personally, I don't have a Modus account, so I'm not sure where the nearest exchange network ATM is to me, uh, but I'm sure that if you actually had this bank account, it would not be hard for you to find one. Uh, as well, they are insured up to $100,000 by CDIC insurance. Uh, and in my opinion, you should never really have a large amount of money sitting around in a savings account anyways. Uh, and if for whatever reason you do need to store more than $100,000, it's probably worth your time just to find a new bank account at a different institution uh, so that you can get uh, it insured as well, right? So uh, I just want to mention one more thing before I move on, which is this feature that's offered by Modus uh, called Price Drop. Uh, and apparently the way that it works is that uh, you buy something and you submit a photo of the receipt to Modus and they will watch for a price drop on that item. Uh, and they see that the price has dropped uh, or available for cheaper somewhere else, uh, they'll alert you to this fact and you can go claim the difference back. And I can definitely see something like this being really useful because uh, I understand it could be very hard for people to keep track of the price of things after they buy it, right? So, you know, 90% of the time, uh, you would probably buy something and then after you buy, you stop paying attention to the price because uh, why would you, right? You already have the thing. So uh, if that price of the thing that you just bought comes down though, you won't know most of the time. Uh, and yeah, you won't have the time to go research on every single thing you buy. So uh, it's easy if you have this service just to, you know, sort of just submit your receipt and let them keep track of any potential price differences. And this thing apparently works whether you bought the thing with cash or with credit cards or with like non-modus bank accounts as well. Uh, so yeah, it works across all receipts, no matter what the method of payment is. Uh, so anyways, I just thought that that was a cool feature and I'm not sure how 
how well it works. So if you have a Modus bank account, please comment down below whether or not you use this feature. And if you do, uh, please let us know whether or not it works well or if you like it or anything like that. Moving on though, number two on this list is Motive Financial. Uh, now I know this kind of sounds similar to Modus Bank, but this is a different institution altogether. So they're also an online only bank, just like all the other ones on the list. And what makes Motive Financial stand out is that the interest rate that they offer is actually the highest on this list today, coming in at 1.55%. However, the reason why they're not number one is because although they don't have a monthly fee or a minimum deposit requirement, they do have a $1 charge for e-transfers, which unfortunately because of that, I have to knock them down a notch because if you're a Canadian, I think you understand why, right? E-transfers are something that everyone in Canada uses all the time and almost all institutions, they facilitate e-transfers for free. So although it's only a dollar at Motive Financial, uh, I don't see why anyone would pay a dollar when they can get e-transfers for free anywhere else, literally. Uh, so. Uh, with that being said though, I do like how Motive Financial does have a debit card uh, and ATM access across the same exchange network as Modus. Uh, so that's definitely a plus for them. So that's why they're number two on this list. Uh, so before I jump into number one on this list though, I do want to give an honorable mention to Oaken Financial. Uh, so this is a banking service branch of the Home Trust Company, uh, which is a CIDC member. And of course, so once again, your uh, deposits are insured. And this is a straight up savings account. It's very easy to understand. It's just a straight up savings account that offers a standard interest rate of 1.25%. Uh, so it's higher than Modus Bank. And yeah, as always, there's no monthly fees or account minimums or anything like that. And you are getting some of the best rates in the industry still. Uh, only downside I can see is that as far as I'm aware, the account does not come with a debit card. Uh, so that's only a small drawback though compared to uh, the other benefits that Oaken has to offer. So uh, if you're interested while you're looking at the savings account, uh, Oaken does offer GICs, which uh, if you're willing to lock in some of your money for a set period of time, uh, you can get some nice fixed rates. So uh, they offer terms that range all the way from 30 days to five years, depending on what you prefer. Okay, anyways, lastly, we have arrived at the best savings account here in Canada in late 2020, according to my opinion. And in my personal opinion, that crown goes to EQ Bank Savings Account. Now, in my opinion, the EQ Bank Savings Account is the best savings account in Canada, hands down, no questions asked. And right now it offers a whopping 1.5% interest rate with no monthly fees or minimum deposits. And as always, your deposits are CIDC insured. And yeah, when I first heard of EQ Bank, uh, you know, I just had to open up an account and try it myself. And I mean, it works as advertised. I don't know what else to say. So it's very similar to Oaken Financial, albeit with better rates slightly. Uh, and while we're on the topic of GICs, EQ Bank does offer GICs as well. And so once again, uh, the rates on the GICs at EQ are slightly better than Oaken Financial. Uh, and the minimum amount you can put into a GIC with EQ Bank is actually $100 instead of $1,000 in the case with Oaken. So that's an advantage, right? So you can invest with a smaller amount of money uh, and earn that interest uh, starting with a smaller amount of money. So since the minimum amount is only $100, I did toss $100 into a three month GIC just for fun. Uh, and yeah, I'll be earning an extra 45 cents that I didn't have before. So booyah. Anyways, so those are my five favorite savings account here in Canada in late 2020. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to hit the thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links down below in the description as always. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.